Hey everyone, it's Priscilla from This Disc Queen Crochet and today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to make this super cute summery bikini top or as a top if you want to wear with any kind of shorts or bottoms that you like. So what this top features is super cute crisscross straps in the back, an adjustable waistband and an adjustable corset back as well. You can make this in any size because it is made to measure and size inclusive. And there will also be a written pattern coming soon. When it's done, it will be linked below. But if it still says coming soon in that link, just make sure that you press join my email list so you can get notified when the written pattern is released. Look at that bottom of the top. It is super, super cute. I'm going to show you guys how to make all of this. So without further ado, let's get into the instructions. But before that, if you want to make some really cute matching shorts, I also have a free tutorial for that on my YouTube channel. It's my size inclusive summer shorts pattern. You can check that out. I'll link it below. They're also size inclusive and made to measure as well. And subscribe if you want more boho and hippie crochet tutorials. So the materials that I use, a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and two strands of a Lee's Diva yarn held together. It's about 700 yards in total. It's about a light yarn, so it's pretty skinny. I also use a darning needle, scissors, and a measuring tape. You can use whatever hook and yarn you would like to achieve the look you want. For this tutorial, you are going to need two different measurements. For measurement number one, you're going to need to get the length from the top of your nipple down to underneath your boob, as shown here. A fabric measuring tape helps with this the best. And for measurement number two, you're going to need to get the circumference or the width underneath your boobs. So kind of your under boob slash waist measurement. So for this tutorial, you can use any kind of hook and yarn you want, but I'm using a Lee's Diva. I'm going to be using two strands together and also a 3.75 um, millimeter hook F5. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So you're going to start off with your measurement number one. The distance from the bottom of your boob to your nip area. You're going to get that measurement and you're going to make a chain the length of that measurement. So for me, I already did kind of like my little god swatch to see how many inches it was versus how many chains. And for my measurement, I need 26 stitches or well, chains. So get measurement number one and make that length and chains. All right, and when you make that length, you're gonna add one extra chain, and then you're gonna single, you're gonna skip that first chain, the one you just made, and single crochet all the way down to the end. single crochet in each chain until you get to the last chain. All right, so I am in the second to last chain. So in the last chain of your work, you are going to single crochet five into it. Alright, so in that last chain, we single crocheted five. So now we are going to turn our work, not around, but upside down. Just like this. So we're working like this. Now we're going to literally turn it just like this. Upside down. And now we are going to work on the bottom or of the stitches or the other side of the chain. So after we crocheted five, seal crocheted five into that. We're going to go onto the bottom of that next chain, which is the bottom of the other stitches on the other side. So this side, you see the stitches, single crochets. We're going to be working into the bottom, like right below each stitch. So when you turn it around, go into the next chain. So just like this. And single crochet. We have the next chain right there. So you'll crochet into that. All 
And if that's confusing, just look at where the other stitch is on the other side, like there's a single crochet. We're gonna work right into the bottom of that single crochet if that makes it a little bit easier for you to understand. And we're gonna continue single crocheting until we get to basically the end of the, of the row, but the beginning right here where we started. So bottom of each chain, there's a stitch right there, the V. I'm gonna work right into the bottom of it. So as you can see, we have single crochet on one side of the chain, five at the top, all in one stitch. And that last chain, we put five single crochet. And now we're working on the opposite side of the chain all the way back down. So I'll meet up with you guys at the end of this row. See, all the way around. All right, so I have finished row one. We started here. With the chain, we went single crochet in every chain all the way up. In the last chain, we did five. And then we turned our work around and we single crocheted onto the other side of the chain or the bottom of each stitch on the other side of the chain. So, whatever chain you started with, the number, it should be the same amount on this side. So, I started off with 26 single crochets, so I have 26 on this side. And then I added up there and same on the other side. All right, so let's go into row two. So now we're actually gonna turn our work. So we ended here with our last single crochet. We're gonna normally turn our work around just like this. And we're gonna chain one. And after you chain one, you're gonna single crochet into each single crochet on this side of your boob cup. And we're gonna do that all the way until we get to those increases at the top. So I'm gonna to crochet all the way down there until we get to those single crochet five and one stitch right here in the middle. And I'll meet up with you guys there. All right, so here I am at the middle of our round. See, here's the beginning, middle, end, other side. So here we have that um, where we increased and we have five single crochet in that one stitch. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna single crochet into the first two and into that third single crochet, which will be the top of your boot cup right there in the middle. We're gonna do three single crochet into that middle increase stitch right at the top. So I'm gonna single crochet into the first two And then in that middle single crochet, right there, I'm gonna do another increase and I'm gonna do three single crochets into that middle stitch. One, two, and three. And now after you do that increase, you're gonna just normally crochet all the way down to the other side and end your row. So we're just gonna go ahead and single crochet in every single crochet until we get to the end of the row. So just a little recap of row two. We single crocheted from the bottom, or from the beginning of your row, all the way to the top until we got to the single crochet five in one stitch in that third stitch with the middle single crochet, we did an increase and we did three single crochet into that middle stitch. And then we single crochet all the way back down to the end. All right, so now for round, sorry, not round, now for row three, this is gonna be the row you're gonna repeat until you get to the size of the cup that you want. So at the end of row two, just turn your work and you're going to single crochet in every single crochet until you get to that increase we did in the previous round, which was the three single crochet into one stitch. So we're gonna crochet all the way until we get to that increase at the middle of our round. So here I am 
at the middle of the row. And here is the increase we did in the previous row, the three single crochet and the one stitch. So into that second single crochet, you're going to do another increase and do three single crochet into that one stitch. So I make sure I'm doing the right, the right middle stitch. Yep, it's that one. So into the middle stitch, you're gonna do three single crochet. One, two, three. And then you're gonna single crochet all the way down to the end. And that's gonna be the end of row three. And you're basically just gonna repeat row three until you get the size that you want for your boot cup. And then after you make one, you're gonna make another. So I'll meet up with you guys when you get to the size that you want. And real quick, I'll show you how the end of row three looks. So a little recap, the end of row three and how we did it. We started off single crocheting in every single single crochet until we got to the middle into that middle stitch from the previous row where we did three single crochet into one stitch in that second stitch of the increase, which is like exactly the middle. We did three more single crochet increase into that middle stitch. And then we single crocheted all the way down to the other end. So for every single um, row, once you get to the size you want, you're gonna single crochet all the way up, three single crochet into the middle stitch, and then single crochet all the way down. Just repeat round three, I'm sorry, row three, until you get the size you want. I'll meet up with you guys after you make two of these boot cups. All right, guys, I've gotten to the size that I want. Let me show you how it looks on my chest. Y'all can kind of see how I gauged what size I wanted to have for my boot cups. All right, so I'm not wearing a bra, I apologize, but it's best for me to get the sizing that way. So here's my bigger boob. I don't know if y'all have that, but I do. So I made it about this big. So I have it from the middle of my chest right to about here. Now the next part we're gonna do is the strap, um, well the band. So you're gonna wanna get your second measurement which is your waist, which is right below your boob, all the way around that circumference. And we're gonna use that measurement and we're also, also now's a good time to see how big you want your band to be. Do you want like a small one? Do you want a bigger one? I'm gonna make a bigger one because I want more support. Um, that's just me. But I'm gonna have like a strap, of, I mean a band about like this big. I'll show y'all close up when I figure out the exact size for it. Other than the band that's connected exactly to our boob cup, we are gonna add a little bit underneath here. You can obviously make that as big or as small as you would like it. I will show you guys how to do that too. So really while you're thinking, figure out how big you want it in general and kind of just, you know, measure your band based off of that, of how much you want to add to here and how much you want to add to here. It's also going to matter how much side boob you want to cover up. So it's all up to you, the measurement. I am personally going to do two inches band connected exactly to the cup. So that's about one, two, that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna say about ten stitches on the side here, and I'm gonna add two more inches below. So I'm gonna have four inches in general. Once again, you can do whatever you would like to do yours. That's what I'm gonna do for mine. So now we're gonna do a little bit of math. Don't worry, not this kind of math. We're gonna do some simple math to figure out how long we need to make our band or the width. All right, so now make sure you have your measurement number two which is, well, mine is 33 inches, which is the circumference around the under part of my boob. So my under boob measurement, 33 inches. Now you need to make your top six inches smaller than measurement number two. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain all of it. It's gonna be really, really simple. So the first thing is subtract six inches from measurement number two, AKA your under boob. So 33 take away six is 27. So I'm gonna need my top to be 27 inches. Now get your cup measurements. I'm gonna show you how to do it and subtract from this number. So let's get our cup measurements. So I'm at the bottom of my cups right now, as you can see, here's my cups. 
I'm measuring the bottom, both of them together. You can just measure one, multiply it by two, but I'm just measuring it all. And I have about 21 inches is the largest measurement, which is like the bottom of the cup, basically. So my cup length or width is 21 inches. Now we're gonna subtract that from the number that we just got. So now that we got our cup measurements and we're gonna subtract, so we're gonna take the number we got earlier in the last one, 27, subtract the width of our cut measurements. So, which was for me was 21 inches. Now we have six, 27 take away one, 21 is six. Now we're gonna divide that number by two. Six divided by two is three. So we need to add three inches on both sides. So this is gonna make our top um, that, um, I cannot talk right now, 27 inches. So we need to add three on both sides. The reason why we're making our top smaller than our actual um, measurements is because we're gonna add a little crisscross, um, little corset in the back that we're gonna pull to tighten and you want it to have space to be able to pull to tighten the band so that it stays around your waist. Trust me. So do your little math. And so, uh, so basically I'm gonna add three inches to this side of my book cup that this is going to be one side on the other boot cup i'm going to add three inches here it's going to wrap around the back we're going to add a little corset that's going to be able to pull tight so after we work on the band we're going to work on the straps we're going to work on the band first so go ahead and figure out how high you want i'm going to do once again about two inches high because i'm going to add two on the bottom i'm going to about two inches high which is about for me it's about 10 stitches so i'm going to Connect it here, I'm gonna show you real quick, and then we're gonna go back and forth until we get three inches. So let me show you real quick how I'm gonna do that. So to connect my hook to the bottom of my cup, here's the top, we're on the side right here, I'm gonna make a slip knot and put it on my hook. Don't know how to do a slip knot or any of these stitches, almost again, everything is linked below. But at this point, I think you know how to do it. And then I'm going to go to this bottom stitch right here on my top, I'm gonna to go up 10. I'm gonna put, sorry, I'm gonna put my hook through that stitch, the bottom, and I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my hook and pull it through and through the other loop on my hook. Now I have connected my hook with a little slip stitch so I can start working on my top again. That's one great way to connect your hook to like literally any project to continue on. I love doing it. So I'm going to chain one. And for me, as I said, I'm going to do about two inches up. So I'm going to just single crochet 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm going to turn my work, which is literally turning around the entire boot cup, turning my work, and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to single crochet into those 10 stitches I just created on the side of my work. And I'm going to continue turning my work and doing this until I reach three inches. And once again, y'all can do whatever um, with length you want to do. It's up to you completely. This is just what I chose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know I missed one. Ten. All right, and I'm going to continue to turn my work until I reach three inches. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom of our other cup as well. Attach, go back and forth with whatever length you want until you reach whatever you, the measurement that you got. I forgot, yours might not be um three inches it's whatever measurement you got when we did our math in case you forgot rewind it's all there <laughs> and then i'll meet up with you guys once you're done doing both bottom parts of your band so i just did my three inches on one of the tops and then i did it on the other as well and now we are going to connect the front of the tops together in the front and we're also going to create little loops for the corset strap to go to in the back. Alrighty, so now we are going to make the little loopholes for the corset strap kind of like tie thing to go through. Sorry, the name is escaping me. The corset tie to go through. 
So I'm putting another slip knot on my hook and I'm connecting it to the band, the end of the band. Top or bottom doesn't matter. And then just attach it before, just put it through the stitch, wrap the hook, the yarn around and pull it through the stitch and your slip knot to attach it. And then I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna single crochet into that stitch. Then I'm gonna chain three. Then I'm going to skip a stitch. I'm gonna skip this one. We're gonna go in and we're gonna single crochet into the next one. And then once again, we're just gonna chain three. You're gonna skip a stitch and single crochet into the next one. We're gonna keep doing this until we get to the end of the row. Now, obviously your band might be shorter or longer than this. Do whatever you need to do to make it work for you. Like at the end, I have one stitch left, so it's not really even. So I'm gonna chain three again, and then I'm gonna single crochet into the last stitch, because I can't skip one, but I wanna have that little bump there. So that's why I make the little holes for the corset strings to go through. So once again, you're just gonna single crochet um, into the first one, chain three, skip one, single crochet. Chain three, skip one, single crochet, and do that all the way around. And you're also, not all the way around, sorry, all the way across. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other band. Attach it, single crochet, chain three, skip one, do the same thing all the way up. So I'll meet up with you guys when you finish doing the loops on both of your bands. Hey everyone, if you've been enjoying this tutorial so far, please subscribe if you want more videos. Also find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, all the things. Now I have created all of the loops. As you can see, the, the chain threes um, create the loops for the corset tie to go through. And I did both ends of my band, so make sure you do both. And now we are going to connect the middle of our our cups, basically. So there's two ways to do this. You can use a darning needle and just sew it up, or you can use a crochet hook and slip stitch. I'm going to use my crochet hook and slip stitch. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You can go also as high or as low as you would like. Um, it depends on how much you want exposed. It's completely up to you. Probably gonna go around this high, but I'll show you guys as I do the slip stitch with the crochet hook. All right, so I am facing the right side, the part I'm facing out that I'm, I want to be facing outside. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm facing the outside of my top. <laughs> and I put a slip knot onto my hook, as you can see. And now I'm going to go about 26 stitches up my top right here. That's how high I would like it to go. So I'm going to count on both sides to make sure that it's even. So let's see, I'm gonna keep my place marker by putting my hook into where those 26 stitches are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, so I'm gonna put this into the front loop of that. You can also go and actually I'm probably going to go in between both just for the security. I'm going to go underneath the entire stitch so you can see both loops. Do the same thing on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. I already lost count. Hold on. 1, 2, 3. Okay, put my hook underneath 26 on that side. So I have that. I have my string attached. Oh, it went through. Of course it did. All right, so now that my hook is through both, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook. And pull it through both stitches. And then pull it through the slip knot on my hook. Just like that. To my work to the side so I can start going down. Now I'm gonna go through the next two stitches from one cup and the other cup. 
wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and pull through the loop on my hook. Now I'm going to keep doing this so I get down to the bottom of my top. Now if you have another way, you either connect your, the top pieces, feel free. Once again, you can go as high and as low as you would like. This is just how I would like my top to be. Let me show you guys how it looks so far as I'm sewing it up. It's a nice little push out right here. I kind of like that how that looks. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and fasten off my work. You should probably not be like me and sew in your ends as you go as well. This is weave them all in, so I've got to do it all at the end. But after this, we're going to go ahead and start making the straps and the corset, and the corset tie so that we can finish up our top. All right, so here is my slip stitch all done for the front of my top. Now we are going to work on making chains for the back of the corset top. All right, so I just crocheted a chain that is about 50 inches long. This is gonna go through the back of the corset. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to put it inside of there. All right, so I created a chain about 50 inches long, and I have about five loops for my corset tie to go through. Once you put this through, I'll show you how to do it. You're gonna see if you want your drawstring or your corset tie to be longer or shorter, but real quick, I'm gonna just show you how to do it. So I'm gonna try this on the white background so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm facing the back of my work. So I'm gonna get my chain and I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible on both sides so I don't have to, you know, take it apart. So here's the ends, try to make it even. So I'm gonna take the ends of my chain, take the left side and take one side of my chain and put it through. You can do back to front or front to back. I'm doing back to front. I'm putting it through that chain three space, that loop that we created earlier. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side of the chain. Take the right side and put it back to front through that top chain three space. I'm going to try to make this chain even on both sides. All right, it's pretty even. Now I'm going to give it some space. Now I have four more loops left on each side. All right, so I'm going to take this right side that I just did and go to the second loop down on the other side of the band and put it back to front through that second loop and pull it through. Now take the other chain and go to the second loop on the other side and put it back to front. I'm going to keep doing this. We're going to keep going back and forth until we get down to the bottom. So I'm going to go to the other side, this chain, and go down to that third loop and put it back to front. Get this chain, go to the other side, third loop, back to front. I'm going to keep doing this until we get all the way down to the bottom, taking turns with each side of the chain and putting it through the loop. All right, here's the corset back, super cute. And if you need to loosen it up before you put it on, just start at the bottom, make it loose. And then when you get, when you put it on, you'll easily be able to pull it tight and tie it like a regular knot. And that's how you do the corset back. Now, obviously when you're done, you'll be able to see if you need to make your drawstring longer or shorter. I have mine pretty long so I can still tie it to have it dangling off the back. So now we're gonna move on to making the straps for our top. So now we are going to work on the crisscross straps and we want the crisscross strap, I'm actually faced, um, facing the back of my top right now. We want to go from the top of one cup to the opposite side of the band over here. In row over here before we have the crisscross part is where you want the strap to end. But the first thing we need to do to make the strap is we need to figure out how thick we would like it to be. So we have the stitches on top of the cup right here, all the different stitches. You can choose how big or how small you would like them to be, but Either way, the middle of your strap is going to be the top stitch right here. So if you want yours to be three um, stitches wide, you have one, two, three. If you want it to be like four, 
can choose whichever side you want to have two. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. But if you want yours to have an odd number, this would, just be, would be like the middle stitch. So I want my band to be, I would say one, two, three, four, five, maybe five to one at five. Yeah, we're gonna do my band four stitches. So I'm gonna do mine one, two, three, four. So to start your, um, your strap, you wanna get your yarn and make a slip knot and put it on your hook. Then you're gonna attach it to where you want the band to start. So since I want four stitches, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put it in right here. I'm gonna just yarn over and slip stitch through both loops on my hook to, to just to connect it. Then I'm gonna chain one and single crochet in that stitch into the next stitch and into the next and the next. I only want my strap to be four stitches wide, as you can see. So, and I'm gonna turn my work, chain one and a single crochet in all of those stitches and this is how we're gonna make our strap longer and longer and longer so you're gonna go back and forth back and forth until you get it as long as you would like then you're gonna either sew it or connect it to this side over here and I would suggest after you do one strap try it on make sure you like how it feels and then you're gonna repeat the same thing with the other side start your own strap here and you're gonna make as long as you would like and sew or connect it anywhere on the side of your strap I mean of your band so I would say to kind of make it maybe in the middle or like a little bit close to the inside of your corset but once again once you tie it on once you try it on you'll see what you like that will feel the best so I've just made my strap as long as I wanted it I also tried it on to make sure that it fit good. So here's the end. I just went back and forth and did rows all the way till I got to the length I want and single crochet. And now I'm going to attach it basically to the middle of, see where my cup ends right there. And here's the back, the corset. I'm gonna kind of put it somewhere here in the middle. And how I'm gonna do this, so I'm just gonna slip stitch, turn it upside down real quick. I'm just gonna slip stitch it into that strap. So take off that chain one. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So to do this, I'm just going to insert it into that first stitch, the strap and figure out where I want it to go. Probably like around like right here. I'm putting it into the band right there on the edge and I'm going to wrap the yarn around and then just pull it through both loops. Make sure that's tight, just like that. So turn it into the second stitch. Put it through the back and then slip stitch. I'm just gonna do this until I get to the end of the strap and then I'll kind of leave, after I cut it, I'll leave kind of like a long tail to kind of just make sure that I sew in all the ends, etc. So I'm here it is right here. And that is how you put your strap on. Now probably what I'm going, that's not so bad, I'm so sorry. That's how you attach the strap. So you can also do it the other way. So that it's more of a flat edge like this. Let's see how it's on the inside. Just depending on how you slip stitch it, you can get a bump outwards like this, or you can have it flat. It's up to you. I don't mind it like this. So I'm just gonna get my scissors and just cut off the end. Leave a long tail, kind of just fasten off. And I'll kind of attach this end to be like a little bit more like one more little sew through my, like a darn needle, kind of sew it through one more time. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side of the cup. Start on the other side of the top, on this side, and bring my strap all the way to the other side. I'm gonna do the same exact length 
same amount of rows I did for this strap. So I have sewed on my straps. Here's how it looks. The crisscross is so cute. I love it. Okay, so after you've tried it on and saw how it likes, make sure you like how it fits. We are now going to work on the bottom of our top. All right, so now you're going to turn your top upside down and you're going to be facing the back of the top. Here we have the corset back. So we're going to put a slip knot on our hook and we're gonna connect it to that single crochet at the end of the band. So see that little three, that three um, chain loop we'd made before? Gonna go right into that first single crochet that we did before making that chain three. Put it into that single crochet and you're going to pull, wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through to connect your hook to that single crochet. Hold on a second. Made my slip stitch a little bit too tight. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to chain to attach it to the single crochet at the end of the other side of the band. I would suggest to make the chain about five to six inches which is basically how much smaller your top is compared to that measurement number two, which was the under boob measurement. This is gonna be connected, but we are gonna put a drawstring through it so you will be able to pull it tight at the end. So if it's a little bit big, that's okay. If it's a little bit small, it's fine because we'll stretch. So I'm gonna make my chain about five inches. Can measure yours if you like. I'm just kind of eyeballing mine. Might make it a little bit shorter, but that's okay. And then you're going to want to connect it to over here. See that the corset top and that three chain, the single crochet on the last row of the other side of your band. You're going to slip stitch it to that chain. And I would suggest um, to do some chains so it stays in place. And you can go try on this to make sure you'll be able to put it on with this new chain. I'm not going to try mine on because I know it's going to fit. So after you make the chain and attach it to the other, the other band, you're going to single crochet in every single vertical single crochet row of that band all the way around. The cups, the front, all the way back over the single crochet and around the entire top basically. So as you can see, we have vertical rows here. All the vertical rows, a single crochet is going to do a single crochet into each of those rows. So we did that row, now the next row. Now the next row. And the next one, as you can see we're just going to do single crochet evenly all the way around each single row. It kind of helps that there's kind of holes in between each stitch at the end, so that kind of helps me figure out what the next row is. And then I'll meet up with you guys after we go all the way around the top, back around, over the single crochet, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the first one that we made to complete this round of the bottom of our top. All right, now I'm single crocheting all the way around still, and I'm going over the chain that we made at the beginning of this round. And I'm going to slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we made. And we're gonna go on to round two. All right, so slip stitch, if I can get it in there. Okay. Now for round two, we're gonna chain one and we're going to double crochet three and oh wait, actually, okay, so after you chain one, make sure that you're faced um, the outside of your work. I'm actually faced on the inside, so oops. So you just wanna make sure that you're faced um, the outside of your work. I was actually faced on the inside, so I just turned my work inside out and I faced the outside, aka like the right side of your work. Whatever you're gonna be looking at when you put the top on. So here's the outside of it, see the drawstrings. All right, so make sure that you're facing the outside of your work. We're gonna go on to round two. It's gonna chain one, which I already did. And we're gonna do three double crochet into the same stitch. And 
and after you do three double crochet in the same stitch you're going to skip two stitches one two into that third stitch do three more double crocheting just going to keep repeating this all the way around three double crochet in one stitch skip two three double crochet in one stitch and just keep doing that until you get all the way around your top and then this will be the end of round two so don't forget at the end of the round make sure that you double that you slip stitch into the first double crochet you made of this round so here's how round two is going to look just like this this is going to this is going to be what we put the drawstring through at the bottom of our top. At the end of the row, you may not have um, a perfect number of stitches to skip, and that's okay. I have like four left over, so I'm just going to double crochet an extra stitch into that last one to slip stitch to the first double crochet I made up this round. All right, so now for round one, two, three at the bottom of the top. We are going to single crochet into every single stitch around and then we're going to meet back up at the end of that round. So chain one and a single crochet in every stitch. So after you finish the single crochet round and slip stitch to the first stitch you made of that round to finish it off. You're going to chain one, you're going to single crochet in that same stitch, skip one stitch, and then double crochet five into the next stitch. So skip one, double crochet five in the next stitch. Where you're going to be doing the shell stitch for this round. So the only difference from this top to the white top, in case you've already seen it, is this stitch I created right here. You can't really see it. I have to actually figure out how I did it. So that's the only part in this that I'm not including in um, my purple top. So just, to, just so you guys know the difference. I will be trying to make a tutorial for it later though. So double crochet five in that one stitch. Skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Going to repeat this around. Skip one. Double crochet five into the next stitch. skip one stitch and single crochet into the next one so it's going to be double crochet five and one skip one single crochet skip one double crochet five all the way around and so you get back to the end of your round so i'll meet with you guys there so after it's single crochet skip one double crochet five into the next stitch then you'll skip one and single crochet and just repeat all the way around so now for round five, you're going to start with the chain one and then you're going to do a double crochet, but you're going to do it underneath or into the same stitch you did the single crochet into on the previous round. So the single crochet from the previous round, you just um, slip stitch into to end your round. So you're going to want to do a double crochet into that same stitch. You're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet into the third stitch of the previous five double crochets you did in one stitch on the previous round. So you're going to, or you can just say you're going to skip two stitches. So skip two, two double crochets, one, two, into that third double crochet, do a single crochet. Then you're going to chain two. You're going to repeat everything we just did. I'm sorry, you're going to chain one, sorry, not chain two, chain one. And then you're going to repeat, which is just doing a double crochet into the same stitch, single crochet from the previous round. Chain one, skip two double crochet into the third double crochet, single crochet, and then chain one. Just repeat that around your work. And I'll meet up with you guys at the end of this round and you'll end it by slip stitching into that first double crochet you made of this round.
Now for round six, after you slip stitch into the first double crochet you made of the round to end off round five, you're going to want to chain one. And now we are going to half double crochet into the back loop of every single double crochet, chain, and single crochet of this round. So as you can see, we're just working in the back loop. Sorry, make sure the camera's clear. Working in the back loop of every single stitch. All right, we're gonna do that all the way around. Then we're gonna do our last round next and then make the drawstring for the bottom of our top. So for the last row, we are gonna repeat the shell stitch. So chain one, single crochet into the stitch that you're in right now. Skip one stitch and then double crochet five into the next stitch. All right, now you double crochet five, skip one stitch, and we're just gonna repeat. Just single crochet, skip one, double crochet five into the next. And we're gonna do this all the way around, and then we're gonna fasten off our work, and then we're gonna make the drawstring for the bottom of our top, and then we'll be complete. So I try double crochet five, skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, and just keep repeating this all the way around. Skipping one stitch, Double crochet five and one, skip one, single crochet. And if you get to the end of the round and it doesn't come out evenly, that's okay. Like I have an extra two stitches, um, or two or three in between. So I'm just gonna skip over all of them and just slip stitch right into that single crochet. You can also, if you want to, you can like, you know, single crochet and like just end it like this as well. If you don't mind little space in between, oh, sorry, the space in between that works as well. But I'm just going to actually just skip two and just make it, I'm going to slip just like right into this part. It doesn't end evenly for me and that's okay. It probably won't for you either. But that's how I ended my row. Now I'm going to cut it and fasten off and then we're going to crochet the drawstring for the bottom of our top. So for the drawstring for the bottom of my top, I chained a chain about 20 to 25 inches bigger than the measurement of my waist which is about 34 inches long. Oh, not just long, 34 inches around. So I had made my chain about 59 inches long. And now with this chain, we're gonna to go to the bottom of our top, to, to the front of it. You wanna face the front of your top. Here's the front of mine. And we're going to insert the drawstring here. Here's the exact middle of my top. Here's where the cup split, right here. So you want them to be coming out in the center so I'm gonna make sure that I'm starting and my chain's coming out right in the center so I can tie it right down the middle. And then with the other side, I am going to go over and under the three double crochets that we did on, it's about the second round of the bottom of our top. So I'm gonna go over this and under this one I'm gonna go over, under. Do this all the way around until we get back around to the front of our top and I'll meet you guys there. And then when we get to the front of our top, I don't want my drawstrings to come out of the same hole. I actually want them to come like a stitch in between them instead of coming out the same hole. So instead of going over and under and bringing it out of this hole where the other one's at, I'm gonna put it under and then so difficult, sorry. Probably should use like a crochet hook or something. And then I'm gonna put it through this stitch right next to that hole. I'm gonna bring it through here. This so I have a little stitch in between so that you know you can't end up you know pulling it out, make, make it a little easier. And when you tie it, it'll tie over something, not just onto each other in the hole. It's sorry, it's confusing, but it makes sense. So <laughs> I have them coming out different holes. This is a part where you can kind of see how long your chain is, see how much it stretches, try it on, see if you want to make your chain longer or shorter. Now's the time to do that. 
So now we're gonna try on our top, see how we like it, and make sure everything fits perfectly. Now I'm going to show you how to add a tassel to the end of your drawstrings if you would like to add that on. So basically you're going to want to get something that doesn't have too much of a big width or length. So I'm using this um, glasses case. You can always use your phone case or your phone as well. That kind of works perfectly for me too. You want to get your yarn and whatever you wrap around is going to be like on one side is going to be half the um, width of your tassel. So let's say I wrap this around, so I'm going to just get my object, get my string, and just wrap it around. If I do it this many times, this is going to be half of the width of the tassel, because these two sides are going to be together on both sides. So I think I want to do this many, and I'm going to split this into two. So when you take it off, just cut it. I'm gonna do half of this to make one tassel. All right. So when you have the strand of yarn, it's gonna end up being like this, but you can cut it later to the length that you would like it. And I'm going to just cut three more pieces of yarn off. I would do them quite long because you can cut them later. And you're gonna to wanna to take two strands And you're going to lay your tassel in the middle of those two strands. Try to center it as best as you can. So take the, the two other strands you cut and then tie a knot right in the middle of your tassel. And then I'm going to get a crochet hook and get the end of my drawstring. And here's the two um, strands you just tied around your tassel. Take one of those two strands. Well, actually, put your hook through the last chain of your drawstring and take one side of that tie you just did and pull it through that last chain. And then with those two strands, tie a knot. The simple over and under. So after you tie that knot, I kind of like to secure it one more time so I get one strand of each of the two strands we just tied at the top. And you like one more knot just to be safe. And then I pull all the strings down. And then get the other strand, the third strand you cut earlier. And you're gonna wanna lay your tassel on top of that strand wherever you want, like right here, wherever you want to tie it off at. So, I'm gonna tie it about right here. You can also do two strands if you would like, whichever one, whatever kind of look you would like. So that's about where I want to be. Usually tie it one more time to make sure that it's secure. And then whatever strands kind of like sticking out a little bit, like this one is, kind of just get my crochet hook and put it underneath that tie I just did. I might need a smaller crochet hook.
I put it inside underneath the tie and I just kind of pull that strain down and it makes it not stick up as much. And then when you do, when you finish that, you can cut the length that you would like your tassel to be. All right, and you just repeat that twice with both, with our four times with how many drawstrings you wanna add a tassel to. And that's how you do that. And you're all done, great job. Don't forget if you wanna make some cute matching shorts, go to the link below for my size inclusive shorts pattern. Have an awesome day, my crochet kings and queens.